what it sounds like is is like a lot of excuses, like COVID excuses, you know, things oh, that you. things that you oh, haven't ever you. said before. No, it's not. I didn't say it was an excuse. I never said that. No, I didn't say you did. Well, then don't. <laughs> right. It's, I mean, look, we paid Cam million, uh, Cam Newton a million dollars. I mean, it's obvious we didn't have any money. You know, it's nobody's fault. It's. I mean, that's what we did the last five years. We sold out and won three Super Bowls, played in the fourth, and played in an AFC championship game. You know, this year we had less to work with. It's not an excuse. It's just a fact. I'll, I'll, I'll do respect. Everything that guy just said is bull crap. Thank you. Uh, they didn't sell out. They haven't been dancing on the edge of the cap. They didn't mortgage the future. That's never been a narrative around the Patriots. Hey, you know, they're going to have a reckoning one day. Hey, they're low. Like, that's what the Cowboys do. And you know what? In today's NFL, Chris, with the cap going up as it does every year, now next year is going to be different. And coincidentally, or maybe ironically, I never quite know, the Patriots are in great shape next year when the cap's going to be 175. They've never been a team that's in cap trouble. That's baloney. They, the, what they did in past years to win the Super Bowl was not all calculated with the idea that, you know, in 2020, we're really going to suck. No, I, it was not. You know, they weren't like in great cap shape all those years. They went close. To, and they still won. Yeah, but they went close to selling out. They did. I mean, they're paying $18 million right now to Tom Brady and Antonio Brown. And they're not, they're not on the team. I mean, so, they, yes, they did do a degree. How long does everybody think it can work? And let's, like, let's back off on the judgment. I mean, yeah, Brady, what would, the, what would the results be like if Belichick got to go down and coach the Tampa Bay team right now? I don't know. They'd be a lot better, too. Yeah, Brady's on a better football team. So, so what? Does that mean it proves, oh, it, no, it was Brady? No, no, no. I know, but that's right. what they're getting at, the discussion. I, it's so stupid. That's, all I'm, that's no. all I'm saying there. I think this team would be no better right now right. with Tom Brady at quarterback. It's just the point. Don't, don't tell me that you had some grand plan that 2020 was just not going to be a good year. Don't tell me that. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Well, and wait, I'll you're say a victim this. of your own success. Yeah, yeah. And I'll, that I'll, I'll say that you're right. Exactly. I mean, they're a victim of their own success. How long can it last? I mean, you know, they did their best and do all those type of things. Again, it's still. First pick, turbo draft. Goats in a bad way. That, Go. that, we'll get to that. That's easy. Again. Belichick is amazing. <laughs> Let's see where that goes. To the, wait, are people going to say this if he builds a new dynasty, you know, two years from now and all of a sudden they're back? Like, so this story is not over yet. And But my point is he's making excuses. That's an excuse. Why not just say, yeah, we've missed on some draft picks. We haven't made good decisions. You know, we're not, you know, we're not, we've lost Dante Skarnecchia. Don't just, t don't tell me it's a cap situation because I think that's crap. Well, All right. I, I don't know. I don't know if that is crap. I don't, I don't know if I agree with you there too. It's and, crap. You know, again, listen, Tom Brady's amazing. Go, whatever everybody want to say, you know, will never be the, like the greatest quarterback of all time in my eyes. I, some of these analytics firms go back and look. The advantages Bill Belichick has afforded Tom Brady, let alone the talent he's had on the football team. I bet you if you go back and look through Brady's first 18 years of his career, it's the greatest pass protection of any quarterback has ever had in the history of football. I bet you if they go back and go separation between intended target and guy defending, he's thrown to more open receivers than any quarterback in the history of football. I'm, I don't even know this. I just watch a lot of football. I'm going to guess I'm right. Somebody, PFF, Collinsworth, call your guys and start doing it. Let's go. I bet you that's right. the case. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.